hello everybody once again i am here with you for the another session uh, related with the communication electronics and basically in this uh, session we will see what is the characteristics of the radio receiver and uh, in which there are three types of the radio receivers characteristics and in which first one is the sensitivity we will see so nearly it is a final session part related with the whatever be the characteristics of the radio receivers are there and here is the one of that uh, that is the sensitivity is there now basically the important characteristics of the radio receivers are the sensitivity selectivity and fidelity is there so the first one character is to be <coughs> there as an uh, sensitivity now these characteristics are useful uh, to basically judge the performance of the radio receiver how it is going to be the uh, better one or the best uh, as for the standard conditions are there now the <coughs> sensitivity of uh, radio is very important to uh, understand in this uh, case where the uh, sensitivity is nothing but to be for a radio receiver is uh, ability of, uh, to amplify the weak signal as good as as an amplifiers work but uh, basically for the radio receiver the whatever be the received signal is there it is to be ability to amplify that signal or the weak signal now it is uh, often to be defined in terms of the input voltage also that uh, already the wherever the signal is there we always say in the form of voltage and uh, that must be applied at the input and the receiver uh, to be obtained uh, a standard output power and this uh, sensitivity is measured in the micro volt or the decibel <coughs> below one volt now this is uh, fixed uh, output standard output is to be there for the sensitivity measurements uh, are to be concerned now the typical sensitivity curve for the receiver for the mid uh, sorry medium wave band is uh, for the frequency range of the medium uh, medium wave is uh, shown here that uh, medium frequency band is nothing but to be 550 or 530 to uh, 1640 kilohertz and uh, in this if you look at this uh, sensitivity curve in the form of a voltage so if you look at this carefully the highest sensitivity is at uh, 850 <coughs> that is kilohertz frequency part here is the part where this x-axis is uh, showing you frequency in the kilohertz and here is the voltage uh, micro mo micro voltage for the sensitivity is there and maximum point or the maximum or the highest sensitivity as uh, 850 and the lowest one is to be shown here with this uh, part where it is to be at uh, 16 or the 1500 uh, kilohertz that is the lowest sensitivity part is uh, there mostly 1600 uh, kilohertz so this is what the sensitivity curve is there but uh, basically how this operation or the measurements of this curve of this uh, uh, sensitivity is going to be uh, observed now basically from the curve it is uh, 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 this is to be as an evident for the radio receiver is that uh, the most sensitivity at definitely 850 and the lowest is that uh, particularly at 1600 and uh, <coughs> kilohertz the sensitivity of the receiver is uh, decided by the rf and uh, if uh, amplifier that gain decides actually what exactly the sense uh, sensitivity is to be there and to measure this uh, sensitivity uh, through the instrument or the electric circuitry is carried out uh, under the different uh, uh, conditions with this uh, uh, circuit diagram and uh, to measure this sensitivity the first thing is that uh, amplitude modulated signal is applied to this circuitry or the receiver uh, through a standard uh, coupling network uh, known as a dummy antenna if you look at here is the called as a dummy antenna and the second is adjustment is done that is this loudspeaker is removed with the load resistance the required with the same whatever the load uh, sorry loudspeakers uh, is going to be replaced with the load resistance and that value of that load resistance will be equal to whatever be the dissipation of that uh, load at the loudspeaker so in this case this power meter will uh, measure this uh, case uh, output power now 
here the applied input uh, standard uh, am signal uh, at the receiver that is going to be uh, uh, somehow uh, which is going to be added for the dummy antenna and that uh, is with the am signal generator for the 400 and the modulation is to be 30 percent now this uh, will gives us to be as an power output at this uh, last end and that will define what is exactly the uh, basically uh, as an sensitivity is there now for the different frequency ranges it is going to be measured now what exactly the operation is there this is what the circuit arrangement is there and uh, <clears throat> or the setup for measurement of the sensitivity and uh, in this case uh, the standard input of am signal that is nearly 30 percent of uh, uh, at 30 percent modulation and uh, 400 uh, hertz uh, modulating frequency is applied at this stage and to the receiver and uh, 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 through the dummy antenna this is what the adjustment and the input voltage required to obtain the standard output and that standard output is nearly 50 uh, millivolt is there uh, sorry uh, uh, milliwatt is uh, the power sorry it is power that's why it is in uh, milliwatt and uh, <coughs> that fixed output is standard output is expected from this circuitry and in this case the input to the receiver is given that is 30 percent modulated am signal that is um, of a 400 hertz of the modulating frequency and uh, output is fixed that should be there for the 50 uh, milliwatt is there and uh, number of frequency input uh, frequency is going to be increased in that fashion so the whatever be the uh, this gives the sensitivity of the receiver and basically measurement is uh, carried out uh, with the volume control knob for the full positions and this is how the procedure is there first uh, setup uh, as uh, whatever the setup shown in the block diagram arrange the circuitry as it is now adjust this fm to the 400 hertz and uh, m is equal to 30 percent of the am signal generator now adjust the carrier frequency of am input uh, uh, carrier frequency of uh, amplitude modulation uh, input at 530 kilohertz and uh, then adjust the knob for the continuously increasing way from 530 kilohertz to likewise and then adjust the output voltage that is 50 milliwatt is standard output is fixed and the input frequency that is am input is going to be increased the carrier frequency continuously and uh, <coughs> across the load resistance there is measurement power uh, sorry uh, uh, input uh, corresponding uh, input free uh, input voltage is going to be measured now step three there for the various values of the carrier frequencies from the 530 to 1650 kilohertz this uh, frequency carrier frequency is going to be varied and uh, with that case whatever be the <coughs> the graph is there for the carrier frequency on the x-axis versus the receiver's uh, input on the y-axis uh, is measured this is the actually the sensitivity curve and the observation table for the sensitivity uh, is uh, measured uh, is as shown in this uh, diagram or uh, whatever the table uh, is going there uh, following which shows the how the uh, output uh, or the whatever the observations we have to take so this is what the carrier frequency he carrier frequency continuously what is 530 hertz uh, kilohertz person and it is an input uh, voltage he adjust karat jana just up lala standard output pi standard output up lala pi 50 milliwatt and it is a हे इनपुट जे आहे कॅरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी जी आपण देत राहिलो त्या वेळेस हे इनपुट व्होल्टेज आपण ऍडजस्ट करत जाणार टू गेट द स्टँडर्ड आउटपुट ऑफ दिस मच अमाउंट पावर आणि हे करत असताना इनपुट व्होल्टेज आपण किती द्यायलो दैट इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो एंड दैट कर्व इज शोन हियर आता हे जो कर्व इथे दाखवायला तर आता हा कर्व क्लियर होईल की जी इनपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी आपण वाढवत चाललो 
फाइव थर्टी टू सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स त्यानुसार अपने हे जे इनपुट वोल्टेज देत रहा लगा ऐडजस्ट करते रहा लगा दे रहा लगा इन दैट सेंस कस ऐडजस्टमेंट इनपुट दी रहा लगे कि फाइनली अपने आउटपुट फिफ्टी मिलीवैट एवड पावर ये पाजे तो सर्किटम क्या आउटपुट पावर हाला जिथ कि लोड रेजिस्टन्स लाइन अपन आउटपुट पावर मेजर कराएल तिथ ही एवं फिक्स्ड आउटपुट अपन कॉन्स्टंट मेजर करना पनपुट फ्रिक्वेन्सी इनपुट जे का अपन वोल्टेज जे है तो ऐडजस्ट कर इन अकॉर्डन्स विथ द वॉट एवर द कैरियर फ्रिक्वेन्सी इज देर जी अपन देते आहोत फ्रॉम फाइव थर्टी आता फाइव थर्टी लाई तरी आल पन आउटपुट अपने फिफ्टी मिलीवैट ये जे इनपुट वोल्टेज अपन ऐडजस्ट करना दैट इज इम्पॉर्टंट आनुसार अपन जे कैलक्युलेट करना दैट इज टू बी द युअर सेंसिटिविटी इज देर मजे ये जे आउटपुट वोल्टेज पावर तनुसार ये है दैट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द फ्रिक्वेन्सी कैरियर फ्रिक्वेन्सी एंड हियर ऐट एट फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स वी फाउंड दैट देर इज द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऐट दिस स्टेज एंड दिस इज वॉट सम हाउ द सेंसिटिविटी मेजरमेंट इज देअर एंड विथ दिस केस इट इज व्री इजी टू फाइंड आउट द ऑब्जर्वेशन विल डेफिनेटली गिवज अस वॉट एक्जैक्टली द सेंसिटिविटी इज देअर फॉर रिसीवर फॉर दैट रिसीवर सो दिस इज वॉट द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द रिसीवर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन दैट सेंस एज एन सेंसिटिविटी सो थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस सेशन बी एट होम एंड बी सेफ थैंक यू